let's talk about putting credit cards into rotation and what that means. It might be self-explanatory, but essentially, if you're going to spend a certain amount of money during a monthly period, whether it's on personal things or business things, it can add up. You might have a credit card, let's just say cash back as an example. You might have one that's giving you 2.5% cash back, but your limit's $5,000. You might need to spend $20,000 that month. You might have another card that's 2% cash back, maybe one that's 1.5% cash back. It's worth having a rotation so that you use your 2.5, your 2, your 1.5. In a previous video, we also show you how you can amplify those returns by using a card like the 2.5% back over and over again during the month, but you can only do that so many times, and you might be limited by how much they'll allow you to get the 2.5% back on. For example, we've got a video showing a particular card that will only allow you to get 2.5% back on a $10,000 spend during the month. Anything above that, and it drops down. So you can put them into rotation, and you can also pay them off during the month, and we'll show you in this example in a moment, so that you can use them more than once, but when you're done using the highest cash back card as many times as you can, then you're going to have to rotate down to another one. It may seem like it's not a big deal. In your head, you might be thinking 2.5%, 1.5%, 1%. It's not a lot of money. It could end up being hundreds of dollars back in cash during that particular month. Watch this example, and I hope it's very self-explanatory, and just start rotating your cards. It's a good hack to make sure you're getting the most possible redemption back when it comes to cash. Of course, it applies to miles and points. All right, I'm gonna show you three different examples of the benefits of rotating your cards. The idea is that you wanna obviously use the card with the highest percentage back as much as possible. But in some cases, your limits may not be high enough. In my examples, we're gonna say that we need to spend $40,000 over the course of a month. The cards, all except the lowest cash back will have a limit of $5,000. So you're going to want to rotate them as much as possible. You're also going to be paying them off during the month so that you can use them again. That's the hack strategy we show in another video. So let's start at the first one. Over here, far right, we're spending $40,000. The first week, we're gonna spend $10,000 Second week, 10,000, third week, 10, fourth week, 10. So, and maybe this is, we have to have ad spend of 10,000 a week, I'm uh, sorry, yeah, a week, or maybe we're buying some inventory and the company will allow us to prepay. So we're building up essentially a credit. So week one, we're using our two and a half percent card because that's our best card in terms of cash back. But it has a limit of $5,000. So we use it for 5,000. We use the next one for 5,000. It's the 2% card. Those are the two best cards we have. Now, using the method where you pay them off each week, so you charge it, you ACH or send over to a bank wire transfer, not a wire transfer, but a, a payment so that you can pay both those cards off and hopefully it'll be available the next week. If you're able to rotate them that way, you can use your highest 2.5% and 2% card once, pay it off, have it available next week twice, Again and again for a total of $40,000. That means you use your 2.5% card for five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. That's $500 back. On the 2%, you used it five, ten, fifteen, twenty. At 2%, that's $400 back. Total, $900. Now, let's, if you're not, not able to do that, maybe the 2.5% card has a limit of 10 total and they won't allow you to do 15 or 20 at that rate then you may not be able to use this particular strategy of paying it off. And you've got to bring in some other cards. So let's use an example, again, $40,000. Week one, you're able to use your two and a half and your two, just like the previous example. But week two, maybe you tried to pay them off, but they didn't uh, rotate fast enough, so they're not available the next week. So you use your next two cards. They both have limits of 5,000. You use your one and a half and your one. Third week comes up, guess what? These two cards are now available again. The money has cleared, you made the payment, you can spend another 5,000 that month, great. You spend five, you spend five. And then same thing, week four, you paid these guys off. Here they are, you get to use them again. So you use the cards as fast as you could. It took a while for them to go through the bank and to get paid and cleared. So you ended up getting essentially 250 back on the two and a half percent cards, 
200 on the two, 150 on the one and a half, and 100 on the one. Total, $700. Significant difference, right? 900 if you're able to rotate them weekly versus 700 if you're not able to rotate them weekly. And that's on 40,000. If you had to spend 80,000, trust me, I know plenty of people that spend 80, 100, 120, even close to 200 just on inventory for a business. You look at the difference between, you double this to 80, that's $1,800 versus $1,400. That's another $400 cash in the pocket. That's phenomenal. Now, let's use the last example. And let's say that you've got your 2.5%, but you're only able to use it for $5,000 a month. It won't give you any more benefit over $5,000. Then you're done. Same with the 2%. Then the one and a half percent, same. You're not paying them down on a monthly basis. You're not paying them off, I mean, during the month so that you can rotate them. So you're not using the rotation strategy. You're just using each card once. And then the one percent, you happen to have a higher limit. So you finalize the rest at 25,000. That's 25, 30 plus 10 is 40,000. You'll end up getting with the two and a half, 125, with the two, 100, with the one and a half, 75, and with the one, 250, total of $550. By not rotating them and paying them off during the month and using that hack strategy, you essentially went from 900 to 550. That's a $350 difference. Double it to an $8,000 spend, that's a $700 difference. So as you can see, you want to pay them and use them as quickly as possible, the highest cards. If that's not possible and it takes maybe two weeks, still do the same thing. Use the payment, rotate them, and you'll still get a substantial save amount of money back. Worst case scenario, you're still making money back, just not quite as much. But look at the difference. So bottom line, you want to try to use those cards with the highest percent cash back. I guess that's obvious, but you want to rotate them as quickly as possible by paying them off during the month so that you can use them again. That's the ideal strategy. I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe. We've got many more hacks. We've got many videos on how to get out of debt and get rid of the credit card debt and then use these credit cards to your advantage to get the most back cash, miles, points, whatever it may be. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please like it. Well, that was probably self-explanatory, but at least when you saw it written out, you probably thought, wow, that's quite a difference. I should probably rotate my cards. So thank you for watching. Look at our other videos on cards, new cards, old cards, how to use them, how to hack them to get more miles, points. And please subscribe to our channel and I hope you like the video if you like the video. Thanks.